Ever since 2010, analytics has found its way in the Gartner top trends of the year in one form or another. This is indeed a great feat and signifies that analytics has been able to arouse public interest and curiosity and has stayed relevant for a long time. Having said that, many other reports including the recent McKinsey study of more than 500 executives reveals that most of them acknowledge that they were only somewhat effective at meeting goals they had set for their data and analytics initiatives. The Google Trends report for analytics as a search term is also not very encouraging. So what's happening here? The fact that analytics is trending since a decade shows that it has promise. But why, like other technologies and trends, analytics is not maturing? Let's understand this phenomenon through three perspectives. Number one is ecosystem. Number two, business culture. And number three is disruption. From an ecosystem perspective, analytics should be looked as an analytics ecosystem of tools and technologies and not just as a single isolated technology. The adoption of analytics is dependent upon the growth in allied technologies like AI or big data or machine learning, or argumented reality, etc. Adoption rate of each allied tech is different and hence they are also growing at different pace. As these technologies develop and overlap, analytics will be able to play this off to get a huge multiplier effect and a quick mass adoption. Number two is business culture and this you would also relate to. Data still resides in silos, POS, CRM, social, website. Everywhere we see isolated sets of data. Tech is bought but not integrated. Data-driven culture is missing, so you may have Salesforce as a CRM, but your channel members may be using something else. The ROI is not justifiable, because if you want to get analysis through dozens of dimensions and capturing real-time signals to present actionable insights, that's humanly almost impossible and very expensive, very time-consuming. And hence, adoption of analytics has been, at best, sporadic. The business leaders also have to take LOB initiatives and transform from tech to business transformation. Third is disruption. A recent survey by New Age uh, Vantage Partners says that a large number of top executives uh, feel that they are getting disrupted. They are under the fear that they are going to be disrupted. And the fear of disruption is real. The disruption that we see today is happening by orthogonal players. Players which have no expertise in the industries that they are disrupting. Disruption is starting at the source of data. Google may become a leader in autonomous cars or Tractor may become a leader in healthcare in future because they are leveraging data. Forbes has recently released a list of startups who may disrupt various industries in the coming years. Of course, none of them have a poor experience in the industries they are going to disrupt. So the key takeaway is that analytics is not a hype. It's going to catapult our efficacy as soon as allied technologies get matured. What we need is to create a data science mindset and a data culture in our organizations. The disruption is also real. We would see disruption will trigger more data and this would lead to more usage of analytics and hence will create a huge network effect. So fasten your seat belts and be ready for a journey with the speed of light with analytics very soon. Thank you.